Hello, it's Matt from Sound on Sound here. Uh, I'm on the radial engineering stand with uh, Jay, who's uh, going to tell us uh, about uh, the, the third of their new products here uh, today at the show. Uh, this is a development of the PZ Pre. Um, it's an acoustic preamp, uh, but um, two channels of EQ rather than one. Is that right, Jay? That's correct. So yeah, yeah the PZ Pre has been around for a number of years. People love it. It's yep. James Taylor's favorite uh, acoustic preamp, for That's example. Right, yeah. um, but the PZ Pre had two inputs yeah. that could be used separately or they could be blended but they always shared an EQ across that single, uh, or across both those channels. This so is a PZ proper two-channel, right? Yeah, it's the proper two-channel, separate EQs for both inputs. Sure. Uh, so it's the big brother to the PZ Pre, really. Gotcha, yeah. okay, excellent. And um, yeah, you got an effects loop here as well, so... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah the basic functions are the same are as the, the same. PZ Pre. Yeah. So you got a clean boost and effects loop, you've got a mute and a tuner output. Yep. You've got a toggle AB if you're using two different instruments into sure. it. You have pre and post DI output, so okay. front of house engineer might not want what you're screwing around with on stage. Sure. They want their own EQ, so Absolutely. they can do that. Okay. Um, has uh, piezo boosters on both inputs, so you can turn those on and off if you want to use piezos. But this one also adds a 48 volt phantom power input. Right. So a lot of players using a clip-on acoustic microphone or sure. something, they can now blend that with a uh, with a pickup or a piezo all within one box. Excellent. Very yeah. flexible. Yeah. Uh, how much is this? This one's four ninety nine. Right. It's the street price on that. Great. Uh, and we expect this one will probably be shipping in March. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Jay, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Cheers. Good seeing you.